Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. And I got Godzilla. We're driving down Sunrise Highway. We just left the Navy and Service Corps. Kind of, not surprised, but I'm kind of surprised. A two-year-old NCB240E that Navy and denied the warranty on. And I'll tell you why. The water quality in the neighborhood is high iron. So iron fouled up the water pressure sensor. Customers having construction work done in his kitchen, new kitchen. So yesterday they cut out a piece of baseboard, you know, but they drained down the boiler first, of course. Um, thought they refilled it. Thought they refilled it because the water pressure sensor was fouled up with iron and it thought it had 10 PSI of pressure. So the unit fired up, it dry fired, burnt up the heat exchanger. Literally discolored the heat exchanger. So Navy actually denied the warranty claim because listen, that's not a manufactured defect, the water quality. It was not addressed during the installation and what have you, so I don't know. We're on our way to, to a boiler replacement right now. You're gonna see that old piece of garbage being ripped out. We're putting a Whale McLean CGA4 in. But I wanna give you a, some info on my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And I think it's very fitting that we have 10 days of Mikey Pipes giveaways. Because once we hit 10,000 subscribers, every day for 10 days, I am gonna give away something. Wow. And I have a lot of feedback from the community. Some people want merch. Some people want Milwaukee. Some people even asked for a free service call. And others even asked for the privilege to be my apprentice for the day. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know what exactly the 10 day, what each day is going to be giving, what I'm going to be giving out. But once we hit 10,000 subscribers, Monday through Friday, you know, during the work week, I'm going to post a video and we will have... You know, there'll be some rules and regulations about this terms and conditions. You have to be a subscriber. You're going to have to write a meaningful comment. You have to, uh, I don't know, bark like a dog. <laughs> like Molly, Miss Molly. <laughs> Miss Molly. Who needs Miss Molly when I got Godzilla? Diesel. So that's what we're going to do. So probably starting Monday, because I think in the next day or two, today's Thursday, we're going to hit 10,000. So starting Monday... Once a day, I am gonna post a video and uh, we'll get it, we're gonna give away something. All right, so stay tuned. If you haven't done so already, you must subscribe to the channel. Support Mikey Pipe, show me love, and I'll show you love. You take care of me, I take care of you. It's basic economics, you know? That's the way it works. You take care of me, Mikey Pipes takes care of you. So let's go to this boiler, get this bad boy done because it's, uh, it's cold. All right, stay tuned. You guys want coffee or anything? Nah, we're good. Thank you. All right, this morning we are gonna rip out this boiler. It is 9.30 or 10.30? I think it's 9.30 in the morning. This dynamic oval, no, thermal oval. <laughs> A beast, two zone with zone valves. We're gonna rip this out, me and Godzilla, and uh, give him some nice heat. Putting in that Whale McLean CGA for Let's get it done. They don't got any heat. All right. Stay tuned. You know how many views I got in the last video that we made here? No. I think 40,000. See how entertaining I am? You are very entertaining. <laughs> very. I'm going to make you a YouTube celebrity. Oh, great. Like me. Mikey Pipes. Mikey Pipes. All right. So our power are these two lines right here. So you got close to the boiler? Yes. You show the boiler love? I did. I prayed to it. Yeah? Please turn on. Please turn on. <laughs> you should, you know, you want to give it a hug before it leaves? I'm going to make a ceremony. You should. <laughs> Let's cut all the low voltage wiring out. These are our two thermostats. We'll cut that back a ways. two thermostats we'll hang this over here for right now out of the way we're gonna put a switch here and reuse the box and put the new boiler right here all right there she is godzilla get a saw this little cut there 
we'll drain this into the bucket, whatever's left in it. Yeah, let's cut the bottom to take all the all the uh, the circulator off. temperature inside of it. Let's see a cut somewhere there. I still can't believe people punch a hole in that in order to drain it when they replace it. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll cut this and then we'll manhandle this out of the boiler room. Alright. To make sure our center of the flue is the center of the chimney, which I think it is. But we're just going to line up the draft hood and see how that lines up. Little baby boiler. Let's see how she's looking. Looking a little bit off. Steve, what time is it? It is 10.40. Not even, an, not even 40 minutes we've been here. Mm -hmm. We're working past the even we record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, circulators go on the supply side. This is a one-inch manifold to three-quarter, two zones. Isolation valves on the bottom. Circulator with purge on top. Pump it away. And I know what you guys are thinking and commenting right now. But Mikey pipe's moving so fast, he forgot to put in the air separator. Perfect. That's going to go in there. We're going to get a long half inch. This thing long enough. Yeah, that'll work. Put that right there. Yeah, what do air, I mean, the, what do air vent goes right there. Some people do a feed there, but you know how I do my feed. See, Mikey Pipe's rushing so fast, making mistakes, doing things twice. I forgot my elbow break, and because I forgot it, my expansion tank was hitting my draft hood. Duh. So now I have my elbow break. Isn't that right, Godzilla? Yeah. Stunad. Mikey Pipes. Stunad. Mike's working. Didn't see nothing. He didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> All right. We get the water connected do the two zones, wiring, flu. Startup, commission, combustion analysis, gas leak tests, all that good stuff. By the way, the trolls out there, man. Yesterday, you know, I did that water heater repair by myself. Like, uh -huh. I even mentioned it. I, you know, I'm doing combustion test, test, test draft. These guys are like, oh, you don't check gas leak, you don't do this, you do this. Like, you want to be hacked. I was like, man, shut the F up. STFU, man. STFU. I'm Mikey Pipes. Mikey Pipes does things right, doesn't do it at all. That's right. And lefty loosey righty tighty. Isn't that right? That's right. We're gonna put that on I'm gonna sign it. We're gonna do merch. We're gonna have a picture of like a Godzilla. Like you know, a big giant Godzilla, unless you wanna be the picture. Right? And then lefty loosey righty tighty. And then and I'll, I'll, I'll have a, a picture of me on another set, right? And it'll be if you ain't checking, you're guessing. That's fucking right. Isn't that right? That's right. Ten thousand subscribers. Don't forget, ten thousand subscriber giveaway, ten days of Mikey Pipes giveaway. It's cold. Woo! It's cold. All right. Finishing up the boiler. Yes, we need a, a drip leg on this relief valve. Actually, I'm going to plug it for all you haters out there. Alright, 
damper is closing. I have a call for heat, but on the wrong zone. So, this is zone one, which is the first floor. If you look here, here's my thermostat wire from there. So let's flip, flip that over. All right, so I'm gonna take the red wire to R, and it doesn't matter if you put them on the wrong terminal, it just makes you look like an idiot. So there's my red, and that's the signal going, and this is my signal coming back, and that thermostat is on, so now she energized. Like that, see that? So zone one is on, that's zone one circulator. My gas is on, we're not connected with the flu yet, so I'm gonna turn the gas valve to off. Right. just want her to cycle and now we have air in there but it's flashing white so we're going to purge out the zone all right so when i purge i'm purging through the boiler back to the return side and back this way this is the way i do it your mileage may vary so let me get that right there open up that and you'll see what I'm doing in a second. There's my valve configuration. So I'm coming back to the supply side, top of the circulator, that's closed, and I'm purging out from there. Like that. I'm gonna get all the air out. My Kalefi half inch pressure reducing valve is gonna maintain high pressure. Let's have it set a little bit higher. And I'm just gonna crack this just a little bit to get any air out of here. Like that, see that? Close that back. Now she's being purged. Doing the first floor first, and then we'll do the second floor. Just like that. And I think we're good on that. I'm gonna close that, open this, and now she's circulating. Let's go over to the next, the second floor. Take off my hose. That. We're gonna spin this around. So we're gonna come down this way. I'm gonna hold up there for a second. I don't know how much air we're gonna get, but we're probably good enough. So we've got air coming out. Keep doing that until the water's clear. Alright, let's finish up this install. Uh, One-handed mic does it again. trolls out there be hating be hating trolls all right let's take a look at the boiler see what time is it 119 she's been running combustion test is done there's the results there's my hole by the way and i have a little silver plug there service tag set up and let's review real quick the online specifications for the Whale McLean CGA4 say the supply and return are both uh, one inch, but they're not. They're both inch and a quarter, which I thought it was, but I had backup. Comes with one bushing, inch and a quarter by one inch. And all of the thing I ordered for that was one inch. So coming up, this is a 17 inch nipple from that bushing to here. I got a 90, another short nipple for an elbow swing. Another elbow, spiral vent, extra number 15 expansion tank, my T, my Kalefi, um, backflow with pressure reducing valve, with gauge, my half inch copper with Viega fittings, Webstone valve on the top. This is my one inch by three quarter, two zone manifold, Webstone isolation valves, IPS on the bottom. My Takeo 0015E, three speed circulator. Right now it's set to high, I'm gonna put that to medium. Webstone press three quarter circulated isolation valve with purge on rotating flange, both sides, first floor, second floor. All right, on the return side, coming back, I got three quarter IPS bowl valves. A little forgot right there. All right, there we go. Um, for the return with isolation valves, so if something happens, this one zone could be isolated. That is the tapping with an automatic air vent. 
and there you have it. Oh, she just turned off. She looks like she's at temperature. Yep. Boy, the temperature's 180. Perfect. She's good. We're still circulating. We're good. There you go. Beautiful job. Started at, it wasn't 9.30. I think it was like 10. It was 10. It was 9.50. Yeah, not bad. Emergency install. And let's, uh, for, for sentimental reasons, let's leave that right there. The thermal oval. <laughs> we'll leave that there so she can hug it because she's going to miss her old boiler. But she's cooking with gas. Sir. And we're good. We got heat. We're good. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Throw a comment, thoughts, feedback, even criticism, constructive criticism though. Yep. Don't be a hater. Don't be a channel troll and hate on Mikey Pipes. Right? Don't do that. That's not nice. Don't be an online bully. All right? Don't be hating. All right? Just because I got 10,000 subscribers, you got none. Don't hate on Mikey Pipes. Mikey Pipes is just trying to show you how professionals should be doing the job on every single job they go on. And that's how we do it.